Welcome to the Metaboscape online tutorial. This tutorial series is designed to give you a head start in Metaboscape and will walk you through the most important workflows. It is not meant to replace a training performed by one of our application specialists, so please reach out to your local Bruca representative if you are interested in that. In this video, we will start off by introducing the Metaboscape software and giving a general overview. Metaboscape is Bruca's solution for untargeted small molecule workflows, for example metabolomics and lipidomics. It supports various instruments from Bruca, including the QTOF series, the TIMSTOF series and also MRMS instruments. The workflow in Metaboscape can be divided into multiple steps as shown here. After acquiring MS data at the instrument, the data is processed by Metaboscape. This is often data-dependent data like AutoMSMS or PASEF, but also full-scan data and MOLLE imaging data is supported. After data acquisition, every step like peak picking, annotation, statistical analysis and also pathway mapping is performed in a single software, Metaboscape. The peak picking and feature finding is performed by the T-Rex algorithms. These perform all the necessary steps to go from raw data to meaningful features. First, the algorithm will automatically recalibrate the data based on the calibration signal that is present in the data. Next, it will detect peaks and will combine them into features or buckets by de-adducting and de-isotoping. That means that peaks that originate from the same compound will be collected into one bucket. You can see an example on the right, where one bucket consists of the M plus H ion, the water loss, and also sodium and potassium adducts in lower abundance. This greatly reduces complexity of your dataset by removing redundant information. At the end, you are interested in compounds that you analyzed and not in individual adducts or isotopes. The algorithm will automatically perform retention time alignment to take care of small shifts in retention time. It will also automatically import MSMS spectra from your data. Furthermore, it will also perform so-called recursive feature extraction. This feature addresses the problem of missing values that is commonly observed in untargeted experiments. To illustrate the algorithm, let's have a look at two features in four different samples. You can see that feature 1 was consistently detected across all four samples. Feature 2, however, is also present in all four samples, but it was not picked immediately. This is because during processing, you need to specify a certain threshold to exclude noise from being processed. So after the first pass, our bucket table would look like this and for feature 2, we would get a zero intensity. This is exactly what recursive feature extraction is for. The T-Rex algorithm will detect that feature number 2 was detected in a certain number of samples, in this example 3, but in one of the samples it was not detected. Then, recursive feature extraction will be performed for this specific peak in this sample. This means that the algorithm will try to detect the peak again with more relaxed parameters. If it succeeds, the intensity from the recursive extraction will be taken as the intensity. It will be highlighted in the software later on so you know which signals have been picked recursively. If a peak is really not present in the data, then we will still see a zero in the bucket table as expected. And now, let's jump right into the software. When you open Metaboscape, you will be asked to log in using a username and a password. By default, the user demo without a password exists and we will go ahead with this. If you want to create a new user, please refer to the Metaboscape manual or a separate video that we will make available at a later stage. After login, you will be greeted with the main window of Metaboscape. Right now, we do not have any projects open, this is why most of the displays are currently empty. To open or create a project, select Projects from the Bruca ribbon on the top left of the screen. When you start Metaboscape for the first time, this window will be empty, but since I already have some data processed, you can see it here. Data processed in Metaboscape is stored on the server and is organized in projects, experiments and bucket tables. In general, data from one project should have the same experimental treatments, stress conditions or organisms that are compared. Projects consist of one or more experiments. 
An experiment is used to aggregate one or more sample sets or bucket tables. Finally, the bucket table will contain the actual process data from one or multiple data files, which are also displayed on the right pane here. As you can see, the analyses are aggregated in samples that contain multiple data files from the same sample. This can be, for example, technical replicates. You can also see the processing parameters that were used by switching to the processing parameter tab. This concludes our first video in this series. In the next video, you will learn how to process a dataset in Metaboscape.